What do we have here? It's a big old coin. Nope, that's, nope, not trying to leave. So that's the way out. Anyone around? Not spotting anything yet. Is it a vendor or an ambush? Wasteland. Oh, oh, welcome. Don't be, don't be shy. It's a wastelander. I have everything you need to survive. Check out my fair prices. You travel a lot. Where's the best? Where are the best places? Uh, where are the best places to cool your heels? Switch to Dolores. Ooh, just added an, an, enough uh, new place to the map. The shrine. Ah, uh, wow. Tough question. What are you selling? Take a look. I have just the stuff you need. Okay, we immediately have a bunch of access to stuff. First of all, do I have money? I have 62. That is not going to buy me much around here, I assume. Maybe even literally nothing. All right, I think. Do I have anything to sell yet? Unlikely, I think I'm just gonna leave. Well, nice meeting you. Thanks for the help. There was not much help to be had, but you know, just want to take a look at the at the uh, environment. It may just be a random encounter, but I might as well see what the hell it is. Hopefully I haven't actually wasted time that's going to lead to uh, the problem exasperating itself. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's necessarily how the mechanic works. Continue along the path. Might have to manually select it again. That shrine could be interesting. Maybe I'll take a look at that later. Radiation. Radiation is a constant and deadly threat while traveling on the world map. Radiation is visible as large green clouds and denoted with a large radioactive icon. As you near a radioact uh, radiated area, your Geiger counter will begin ticking. Entering a radioactive area will cause your squad to gradually take damage from the radiation. Each radiation cloud on the world map has a certain rating depicted on its icon, with higher ratings doing more damage more quickly. Radiation Suits Radiation damage can be reduced or eliminated with radiation suits, which are a special piece of equipment you can find. Not all radiation shoot suits are created equal. Some provide more protection than others, and throughout the game you will gain access to better radiation suits that let you explore more dangerous parts of the world. Radiation suits come as a set, so you only need, only need to find one for your entire squad. That's a weird convenience, but I'll accept it. Alright, we're in high pool, so we don't have to worry too much about the radiation that's all the way over there. And, but we are down to one third of our, our total water supply, so we're gonna have to look for that here. Yes, let's enter high pool. Roger, Echo One. Now listen, I know I said the radio tower was at the top of your to-do list, but you need to deal with the emergency situation first, before heading back out to get the repeaters. Repeat, help Mayor Vickstrom with his emergency, then continue with your mission to hook up the repeaters. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Copy. Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command out. Alright, so we've arrived on the side of the attack. What can we find around here? Damn stop! Clean up! Reservoir! Sound off! Give me the bad news! Damn top reporting. Got some jackass shooting mortars at us. Can't hit. Can't hit shit, but he's setting a lot of fires. Green up reporting. Some jokers are planting charges at the base of the wall. It, it looks like they're trying to take down the crate. Uh, their leader, uh, shit, he's got a, a jackhammer for an arm. A what? A jackhammer? Damn, freaks get crazier every year. Reservoir checking in. A lot of damage back here. Damn tank is leaking like a sieve. I don't know how long it'll hold. This is Kate down in the tunnel. The irrigation system is about to go. Too much pressure in the pipes. I'm trying to ease it off, but I need more hands. No can do, Kate. Can't spare the men. These junkyard motherfuckers are about to come over the wall. So they've got a bad situation here. But more tutorials. Cover and cover in combat. Uh, cover plays a vital role. Taking cover will reduce an attacker's chance to hit their target, and will also provide a chance on hit uh, chance to hit benefit to a character who's in cover. However, cover is only good when it's in line of sight of the attacker. 
Attacking from a flanking position is often a good tactic to wipe out covering en cowering enemies. Certain cover can also be destroyed by weapons fire or explosives, so it won't always last forever. Looks like we- uh, Ah! Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ambush. Ambush is a special combat action you can take. When you put a character uh, into ambush, they will not attack or make any further moves that turn. However, they gain the ability to interrupt and they end attack during the enemy's own turn when the next enemy enters attack range. This can be an effective tactic when you want to lure an enemy into your crossfire. When a character is in ambush mode, an icon will appear above their head. Remember that enemies use ambush too. That could actually be a useful tactic specifically for my sniper. Firing modes. Some weapons have alternate firing modes that let them attack in different ways in exchange for a higher AP cost when attacking. The most common of these is burst fire, which allows a character to fire multiple rounds in one turn inst uh, instead of a single shot, with a chance to hit penalty. Uh, try checking the firing modes of each weapon you have to see what they can do. Alright. First, let's find the people that are actually in danger somewhere around here. You've entered a war zone. Raiders dressed in heavy leather, wielding construction tools, are attacking the walls of Highpool. Apparently they have jackhammers for arms. Are you a bad guy? You're a bad guy. Um... How does this work exactly? Can I just snipe that guy from here? That'd be fun. Hey, bad guy. Precision strike. Let's try that out. Alright, head. 11%. 6 AP. Torso, 41%, 6 AP. Arms, 36%. Legs, 36%. And varying damage based on what I attack. So head has the lowest chance of hitting, but it will stun or confuse and get bonus damage. Torso reduces their armor. Arms reduces chance to hit. And legs reduces speed. All right, let's go for the torso. Let's give this a shot. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, here comes more. Combat. Life isn't always peaceful in the wasteland. Really, I'm shocked. Uh, combat is a is turn-based, with each character involved taking a turn in order, to, uh, depending on their initiative stat. Each character has a pool of action points, AP, they can spend on actions in combat, including moving, shooting, using items, skills, etc. Once it starts, combat will continue until one side is left standing. Use your available weapons, cover, and skills to come out victorious. Action points. Action points are the measurement of how many things a ranger can do each turn while in combat. Each action, such as moving, attacking, or reloading, uses skills or items as an, a as an AP cost. Action points. Not all characters have the same amount of AP. Certain actions can take different amounts of AP for, for, for different characters. For example, a character with a high speed attribute can move more distance per AP than one with a low speed. Interesting. Uh, different weapons and actions can also have different AP costs. Action points. Once all the character's AP have been used in a turn, the turn will end, and the next character in the action queue will take its turn. Alternatively, you can end a character's turn uh, early by using end turn, which will allow you to carry over up to two bonus AP to the character's next turn. So the tiny amount of spillover isn't wasted. Interesting. Action queue. The action queue shows the turn order for combat. Turn order and frequency is determined by the combat initiative stat of each individual character in combat, including friendly characters and enemies. The higher the combat, uh, the higher the combat initiative, the earlier and more often that character can take a turn. All right, so it looks like right off the bat, it's Gustavo's turn, followed by two enemy raiders, followed by most of my party, and then followed by one another raider, and then finally my medic gets a turn. Precision strikes. Pre That's what I did a moment ago. A precision strike allows you to target individual body parts of enemies to inflict debilitating effects at a cost of a lower chance to hit. The exact effects vary depending on the body part you target, and there is a random chance of inflicting more severe effects. You can press R2 to open the combat radio menu, blah blah blah, to get a... That's just saying how to do it, which I already did. Armor penetration. Armor protects friendlies and enemies alike. But certain weapons are more effective against armor than others. Different types of weapons have different armor penetration values, and the higher the armor penetration the weapon has, the more damage it will do to targets with lots of armor. Alright. Such as a sniper rifle having a high armor penetration. Conductive armor. Energy weapons do not use armor penetration. Instead, 
they check whether armor is conductive or not. Energy weapons do bonus damage to conductive targets, but less damage to non-conductive targets. Conductive targets are marked with a blue shield icon. That's interesting because that means that, uh, I would assume then that, for example, metal armor probably, uh, is very good against physical defense, against normal bullets, but then is probably weak against energy weapons because it's probably very conductive. Alright, lots of details thrown my way right there, so it's currently our sniper's turn. Where is his AP listed? Because that's kind of a big deal here. Says he's got a hunting rifle, he's got 0-0, zero, zero. let's see. Repeat precision strike to, tor to torso, so I can do the same attack twice if I want to. Let's see, a wrecker, a wrecker basher threatens from 11 meters away, a wrecker gunner threatens from 30 meters away. Alright, wrecker gunner at 31 meters. Wrecker Gunslinger threatens from 36 meters away. Gustavo is racing for the finish line. That's an interesting line. All right. So if I want to target this guy, for example, oopsie. I tried to use my D-pad instead of my joystick for a second there, my bad. All right, so I have a 97% chance of hitting this guy. And he, let's see, I have 32 hit points. I'm in a good position. Why is it highlighting Bluey over here? Don't know why she's being highlighted exactly. Anyway, this will cost me how much AP to use. Uh, all right, so attack will take six AP. Precision strike, six AP. Do I want to keep pelting his armor away or do I want to go for a normal attack? Let's try a normal attack because I just haven't done that yet. Oh, that's some damage. That went pretty well. All right, so I don't have enough AP to attack again. How much AP do I have left? It looks like I apparently have five AP left. So I can take cover. If I only use three, then I will be able to uh, carry over the other two without wasting it. The question is, where is this five showing up on my screen? Because I don't actually see it anywhere. Which makes me feel like a little bit like a crazy... Oh, five AP. It's the little lights on top of my gun on the bottom. I found it. All right. That was important to figure out for like a moment there. All right. So I want to take sniper position. I can keep two AP. So let's spend three to, to take cover real quick. There we go. That'll help us out. And then we want to manually end the turn, which you do by pressing... Oh, triangle. That was weird. The guy kind of ran into cover, then gave up. Ooh, enemy sniper. There's something to keep track of. I should probably target him next. All right, we're next playing as... Ooh, we're playing as Scary Sally. So should I just go beat him in the face real quick? 64% chance, it'll cost 3 AP. Let's give it a shot. I have 8 AP overall. Unsuccessful. How much does it cost me to do another attack? Let's see. Not enough AP to attack again. Wait, where am I highlighting right now? I'll make sure I highlight the enemy. Alright, don't have enough AP to attack again. Apparently that attack used up basically all of it. And I assume precision strikes also cost too much. Alright. And I can't really get behind cover at this point. I can't necessarily get behind cover at this point with one AP anyway, so she's probably going to take a hit next, but she is the tanky type. I'll let it go. The miss was unfortunate. Alright, now it's time for our... our, uh... pistol expert. He has seven AP, which is good to have. Uh, let's get a top-down camera angle. Alright, so... An attack cost me 3 AP. It'll probably connect... Uh, not actually not the highest chances of connecting. Let's give it a shot, though. I am not landing attacks, am I? How far can I make it? Uh, that'll cost me 2 AP to go that far. Can I get behind cover? That'll also cost me 2 AP. I'm probably going to want to take cover. I probably don't want the entire party uh, waiting here. Also, apparently taking cover gives you a bonus to hit. So let's do that, since I apparently can't land an attack. And you... Oh, poor girl, you have a stick. Might just have to hide with her and let that be. Oh, look, so they can hit fine. I see how it is. What'd you just do? Why are you highlighting her? That was weird. Oh, it was probably highlighting him for an attack. Uh, your chance to hit is basically garbage, so I'm not going to go for that necessarily. Let's see, and you're... Field Medic, 91%. Oh. But it, has, and it costs 5 AP. I don't want to do Field Medic tactics right now necessarily while we're in the middle of being shot at, probably, though. She's probably pretty vulnerable. So let's just try to get her behind cover so that my Medic isn't getting shot to hell while 
instead of uh, being useful later. I should probably get our gun at some point though, because our stick's not going to do, do me a lot of good. Alright, so we're back in our sniper, which is good, because he's the only one that's managed to hit anyone so far. I'm curious. Can I hit this guy? I should probably take the enemy sniper out if I can. 6 AP. Do I have a chance to hit? Also, why did I... Why did I go down? Oh wait, is that circle the... That circle I assume is the cone of my attack range? Unless I can hit them anyway? What, what do you mean, repeat attack? Alright, so it must mean that I can't attack that character at all. I assume that the, the red cone is... Or the red circle is how far I can attack. So, reduce chance of hitting this guy. But I could knock him out of cover. But I should probably wipe this guy out first before he gets an extra attack off. So, an attack costs 6 AP. I have 12, so I can get two of those off, which is handy. There we go. One enemy down. Got a lucky crit. That's handy. How about you over here? Not the highest chances of success here. Precision strikes. Yep, garbage chance of success. Let's just go for normal attack. Maybe I'll get lucky. I didn't, but I'm degrading his armor, apparently. I mean, his cover, which I'm sure serves its own role. And it looks like... Oh, their sniper's closing in a little bit more. He'll probably be easier to target next time. Alright, Sally. Let's go make a mess, alright? 74% chance is better. Dare I try to t go for spe special attacks here? Uh, head attack. Yeah, these are pretty garbage chances. I'm just gonna go with normal attacks for now. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh! Turns out Big Scary Hammer has its own uses. Alright, probably wanna take cover real quick. 3 AP. Yeah, let's, let's take cover with what's left of my turn. Hey, Mr. Akimbo Assassin. Can you target this guy? And what is your chance of success? Uh, it doesn't look like you can. Yeah. It's apparently out of range up there. Where's my next opponent? He's way over here. I should probably tr try to make cover some ground here. I think... I think uh... Let's see, this will cost me how much AP? Uh, 5 AP. Gives me something left, but more than most importantly, yeah, it'll give me the chance to take cover. So can I target this guy from here? He's still outside my range, isn't he? Oh, you nasty boy. Alright, well. Let's see. Reload. Ambush. I think I want to go for an ambush. There we go. So if that guy comes out, I'll shoot at him, since apparently I'm, I'm outside of range at the moment. She should probably stay... Uh, our friend took cover. It'll cost me 5 AP to get there. I could probably help out here. Uh, surgeon unavailable. Uh, field medic unavailable. Is that uh, based on AP count? I'll take a look in a moment. Probably have to end the turn for now. Hey, sniper. Oh, you're running dry. Are you running out of ammo here? One out of five on your clip. That's not good. Should, uh, I can do one more shot before I have to reload, though. Let's see here. So my, I need to close in before I can get my proper cone established. So I should move forward. I don't trust that very much. This car is probably a decent spot. 2 AP. Probably want to take care of her behind the car, right? Oh, it doesn't say anything about a cover bonus, though. Let's see. Why is there a star? We have a few details to learn still, I guess. I assume that, uh... Let's see. I think my attack cost me, like, six bullets. So, since I'm down to eight, right, because of my slugger ability, where I get more AP at the beginning and less later, uh... I'm now run I'm now running lower, so I can if I if I use more than two AP, I can't attack basically. So that's rough. We'll have to adapt to this. Attack. Am I, tell me, am I in, am I in his radius now? Tell me I'm in his radius. Zero percent. That's encouraging. All right, can I hit the other guy? Fifty-eight percent. I'll take it. 
Oh, he's down, just like that. So much for, so much for our ambush. Oh, they're taking their shots and they're missing. And my big, my big nasty slugger character is available. But at this point, ah, uh, I guess if I make a run for it, actually, they can't do much to stop me, huh? Can I actually attack them? Probably not, right? It'll cost me basically all of my AP to get down there. I have nine, it says plus one. Let's maybe stop at the base of the ladder. Where's my icon? I lost my cursor. Ah, uh, we can head this far. Going for it. And I can't keep more uh, more than a few more AP, so let's go to the base of the ladder. And I'll wait here for now. Probably out of line of sight for the moment, right? I assume that's how this works. If we follow any real rules for line of sight. It's interesting that they highlight specifically how far you can move if you want to attack. It's an, that's actually a good touch. Target friends, target objects, target enemies. All right. Oh, only enemies out of range. All right, that's that's what I should be doing. It's using L1, R1 to cycle through the enemies. It's faster than scrolling around, but I'm well out of range. And that box is not going to last, so let's actually take cover over here instead. Goddamn snipers being a problem. All right, let's... Go ahead and reload, which basically uses up my turn. Do I want to scroll to the side so I can go make a dash for that cover? Let's see. Nah, I can't really make it anywhere. I'll just save the two AP for now. Uh, we conserved one AP. It's now Dolores' turn. Who can still make her way over to here? I might just want. I might just stick with my friend over here. Hello, friend. Probably still can't use this, right? Oh! 91%, 2 AP. I can use a pocket medic pack or a low dosage pain reliever. Okay, so medic pack would heal them. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Hey! Look who's looking healthy all of a sudden. Good for you. So what's he gonna do with his turn? Oh! He took a shot and he missed. He might pay for that now. Let's see what kind of fun I can have with my big nasty, punchy character. Yeah, that's about what I expected. This is Highpool calling Scorpion Base. Where the fuck are you guys? We're getting steamrolled here. Highpool, get off the damn horn. I told you, you already got RSM troops on site. Call them. I've been calling. They're not responding. God damn it. All right. Maximera. Now stop calling! I got other shit going on! Loot. One of the ways rangers must survive in the wasteland is by scavenging what they can. Interacting with containers and corpses opens up a loot interface that allows you to give individual items to individual squad members, as well as take all and distribute all options, which will give all the items from a, to a selected squad member or distribute the loot among around the squad based on character's skills. Interesting, so it might auto-distribute based on your abilities. That's actually kind of cool. Loot containers. Containers holding loot can be potentially locked or trapped. If you want if you, you want to use your various skills such as perception, demolitions, lockpicking, and safe cracking to identify and disarm threats and unlock those pesky locks. But remember that some people may not take kindly to you grabbing their stuff. Well, I may not take kindly to the fact that everyone's fucking shooting at me. How about that? Oh, she's already running back. All right, I thought I might try to jump over to her and try to loot that stuff. All right. A tank of volatile uh, fuel sits precariously before you. Probably could have shot that. All right. Should have, should have inspected that closer. Scrap. All right. I'll take the scrap. Junk. No tools, though. Just the belt. Interesting. It says 11 pounds. It says 2 pounds, $11. Probably can use it then. More scrap. I'll take the scrap, too. There's a body here. It looks like a woman was killed with power tools. Maybe that jackhammer arm we, t we talked about a moment ago. Ooh, assault rifles. A collection of spare parts with rust holding it all together. Uh, seven pounds, $41. We also got some scrap, obviously. Uh, assault rifle and heavy weapon ammo. Don't actually have someone that uses that necessarily. Oh wait, heavy weapons. Might apply to sniper rifles. 
Um, junk pants. <laughs> they're just called junk, just to make sure you know not to try to use them, I guess. Sure, they're cumbersome, but they're also bulky. Oh, cool. That's what I was hoping they'd be like. And more belt. And I might as well grab this rifle. Even if no one uses it in the party, I might as well just give it to someone for the sake of it. I could give it to our medic, just to give her a weapon, but I don't know if I want to... She's probably not... She's not really good with weapons, necessarily, so I don't know if I want to waste ammo that might cost me money. Wrist rocket. A small device that looks like a crossbow strapped into a glove. The elastic band is still strong enough to propel a small pellet hard enough to leave a, a hell of a welt, though not much more than that. Alright, so it's just a... It's a, it's a children's toy. What's, what are you? More explosives. Alright, I should keep an eye out for explosive tanks in the, the next fight, apparently. This guy got hammered. Yep. Make, somewhat literally, and potentially. I ran around hammering people quite sp specifically. No loot on this guy. Oh, a chest. Uh, light weapon. Light it, throw it, duck. Alright. Oh, it's TNT. Cool. Uh, it's a heavy weapon. It's an explosive. Our explosive experts is Mr. Akimbo Assassin, dude. So might as well give it to him, if that even applies here. This crate is stamped ammunition, property of government. The crate, sur crate survived the apocalypse. Maybe its contents did too? Whoa. Hello, shotgun ammo. Might want to give someone a shotgun at some point. That might be a fun thing to give to the medic as an ability to defend herself. Using sniper rifles, all right. And using energy weapons. Let's just give all the weapons to, uh... To our big, bulky character, because she can carry more. Some plants over here. A deserted farmhouse. Looks like the occupants fled the fighting. Stop that! Are you drunk? That mortar... Sorry, sorry! Got the range now, I think! Yeah. Wait! What the fuck? Did I save my own in the hole? Did I? I wasn't ready! Don't think you come down there, assholes! Bit of a surprise encounter, but apparently they were not particularly good at sniping my target. Or sniping my ally, so... Let's get out here in the corner, so I can shoot, I hope. I hope this will allow me to shoot them. And let's put some holes in some fools. Oh wait, yeah, press the bumpers. 100% a nice number. Oh, 100% all across the board. Turns out there are benefits to having high accuracy. Let's see here. There's a... Uh... Whoa, where'd my camera go? Whoa, how'd they get over here? That was interesting. So I'm curious about these crates. Can I inspect them or anything? It looks like they're empty, so they're probably not useful for shooting for explosive reasons. Those ones might be. Huh. What if I shoot that? Or can I? Maybe not. Alright, so... I can shoot these guys, but they're way over here. I should probably shoot the people that are closer. Nah! I mean, the, other, the my main party is more applicable for taking these guys out, so it actually probably does make sense to shoot further away targets before they pull out snipers or support or something. How you feeling, buddy? Gustavo Molotov fires a bullet into a Wrecker Basher, inflicting 14 points of damage. Way to go. Not enough AP to shoot again, though. So I might want to take cover or back away from the ledge. Or I could just end my turn here, probably. I'm sure that I won't pay for that at all. Oh, they're shooting at me. They're not happy at all. Alright, so now it's dual pistols guy. Turn. How long does it take to get down here? Uh, does it cost all of my AP to go down here? A ladder? Oh, is the path blocked off by the fact that Sally's standing over there? That's awkward. I might have to just deal with the fact that I'm stuck up here at the moment. Let's see here. Reload. Do I need to reload? Oh, it looks like I may have lost a, a shot earlier. So it, that is persistent. Ambush, swap weapons, precision strike, and turn. Can I throw a grenade at them? I have TNT. Oh, it's probably not equipped though. He's probably just holding it is the thing to worry about. I probably just want to attack somebody. So my targets are 67%, 73%. Those are my only targets apparently. All right, I'll go for the higher accuracy target. Oh, he did. Lucky crit. Psychopath. Oh, that bodes poorly for you, sir. Poorly for you, indeed. No lucky crit, but yeah, I'm, I'm, bu I'm building up my psychopath bonus. Which is gonna have nasty consequences for some of these guys. 
Is that a sniper down there? He looks like he's wearing a rifle. What if I go hit him in the face? That'd be fun, right? 74% chance of success, it looks like. Other guy is 74. But I should engage with this guy because he's in cover. That seems like a smart idea. Also, I hit really hard when I land my attacks. It actually says in the text, embarrassingly, a record gunner completely misses Scary Sally. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they missed. The guy that's right up in, his, in her face might not, though. Oh, cool, it's a melee character. Might be able to take them out before they even get a shot off. Uh, Dolores? You go... You just go over here, all right? <laughs> just stay away from the ledge. I wish you could step back from that ledge, Miss Young. She'll have actual combat skills later, but for now, she has a stick. And that's going to be how the first few levels play out for me, I think. All right. Who do I want to target? Probably someone that with kind of high hit points. I have 13 AP here. Let's go for this guy. There we go. I figured there's a decent chance of him one-shotting people, so I should take the shot when I can. Uh, you're right in melee range, so you're about to get hit by that guy anyway. Let's target one of the people with higher AP. I mean, hit points. Constitution, I think it's called, actually. There we go. Went cleanly enough. I can accept that. So yeah, I think I think giving him bonus AP at the end at the beginning of fights is paying off because he can just wail he can just shoot out those really high powered attacks at the beginning of a fight pretty effectively. But yeah, now that the first two turns are over for him, he's going to have reduced AP and be less effective. But there also should be less targets if things go according to plan. All right, melee user, do you want to just go for the shot? What's your precision strike chance? Probably not very high, right? Yeah, disappointingly low. Let's stick with normal attacks for now. Especially since you can probably get two off. And you actually need one for once. It looks like he's actually armored. There we go. You guys are having a bad day. You sure you don't want to run? I'm joking. I'm not going to give you a chance. Ha. Silly. Alright. Oh, whoa. Alright, the joystick... The, 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 the cursor kind of just takes off on its own sometimes, unfortunately. So do I want to hang out over here? This person's all shiny. Oh, I probably get a leadership bonus from them is probably what they're talking about. This will cost me 6 AP, which leaves me enough AP to actually get a shot off still. Let's go over here and take cover. And see if I can take this guy right out. It happened. Something happened, at least. And, he, and now he's coming my way. Oh, did he not get an attack off? Or did the camera cut away too fast? Alright, here's my chance to snipe again. 33% chance. Significantly reduced, because we don't have that bonus anymore. That nice, really pretty significant bonus to accuracy is gone. Now I have to aim like the, all the other plebeians around here. Alright, 64%. I'll take it. What else am I going to do with this character? <laughs> Whoopsie. I'm having fun. So it looks like everyone was worth 20 experience each. Yep. Oh, there are five different names. Oh, there's two. Never mind, there's two gunslingers. All right, 100 experience for the party. Not a not a bad at all. Congrats on your victory, everyone. Let's loot the let's loot the enemies. Um, assault rifles and heavy ammo. So that apparently doesn't matter so much. Oh, uh, oh, cool. Loot the entire enemy party. That's why a second screen shows up because uh, on the right you can see there's a queue of all the enemies we're looting. Junk. This thing is way too big to put on a finger. It's a bad ring. Broken tool. This isn't a pair of pliers. It's just a. It's just a plier. <laughs> and SMG and handguns. All right, give that to the right person. I'm having my heavy character carry most of the stuff because they can carry a lot. Uh, work boots. Uh, well worn. You can see the steel caps to the toes. Junk pants. Broken tool. I assume the stuff's gonna sell for something. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel silly later on. Hello, weird glowy door. What are you doing? Examine. A grand house now fallen to disrepair. This'll take you somewhere else. Alright. You've got me interested.